Hey guys, welcome to another Crafty Instincts. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own biodegradable plastic. And I'm just going to inform you guys that this tutorial came off of a website called Instructables.com, if you guys are wondering. So that is where I'm getting this. If you want to check it out, go ahead. Um, and I will leave a link down below to their website. Says, gather on your materials first, and then number two, you need to add these proportions to a bowl. Okay, so you're going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch. So I'm going to do two of these, remember, because I... This isn't a full tablespoon measurement. <coughs> Alright, there's a tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm just going to rinse out this thing because we're going to be using it for the oil, too. Alrighty. Um, so it says a tablespoon of cornstarch, 1.5... Oh my gosh, it, never mind. It's not a fifth. I got my math wrong. I'm sorry. It's one and a half. So I will do three of these for one and a half tablespoons of water. So I'm just going to pour it in there. So there's a half, a whole, a whole and a half tablespoons of water. So one and a half tablespoons of water. Okay, and then you don't need this anymore, or this for that matter. And then um, the last step is step is three to five drops of cooking oil. So, um, you know what? I'm just going to put it in this little container here. Just pour a little bit in there. Okay, and it says three to five drops. So... I made a funny noise. Okay, I'm going to suck that up and put one, two, three, four. I'm going to do four cents. You know what? I'm just going to do five. Okay. So now I have in my three to five drops of cooking oil, and that's all you guys will need for the supplies. You just put it in that little bowl, and you guys can see about how much that is. And then it says to mix them together, forming a milky looking liquid. Now, the cornstarch reacts with the water in a way that, if any of you guys know, if you've made oobleck ever, if any of you guys know what oobleck is, or like goop or something. Cornstarch and water form like a half solid, half liquid kind of thing. So, yeah. And I'm going to do a video later on Ooblux so you guys can see what that does. When it's all stirred, I will let you guys know. So we're back, guys. I, um, I mix it all up, and it still has, like, little bubbles of oil, which is normal because, um, of the resistance of oil and water. However, it's not thick like Ooblek is, and I think the oil might have caused that. So that's kind of interesting, a little science experiment. I decided I wanted to add some color, so I am going to add a little bit of food coloring. They said you could do this on that website. And plus, I've made this before, so I know you can. So I'm going to add three drops of yellow. It looks orange, but when you stir it, it it turns to yellow. Um, and then I'm going to add one drop of green, and we should come out with like a yellow greenish color. Okay. Now I'm going to stir this thoroughly. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, it is going to be a yellow green. Exactly what I was shooting for. Yes. Yes. 
Lime green. You guys can see that. It's a very beautiful lime green color. So yeah, if you want to make lime green, um, three drops of yellow and one drop of green is what you use. I'm going to mix thoroughly. Set my fork aside. And they say to microwave it for uh, 20, 25 to, I'm pretty sure, 25 to 30 seconds. It should bubble and become slightly transparent. So I'm going to do that and I'll come back. So I put this in for 25 seconds and this is what it looks like. It's actually pretty cool. And then it says when it, um, when it looks slightly transparent, take it out. Let it cool so you can handle it, then knead it until it's soft. So I'm going just to get some wax paper to put this thing on. Just so it's not on my counter. And I'm going to use my fork to sort of like flick it out. Oh, that stuff is cool. This is actually really cool. It's like jelly. It is very hot, though, so do be careful. Okay, so that's the main part of the mixture. However, I'm going to take some extra time to get the rest of this stuff out. There's some remnants left in the bowl. And I am going to pretty much stop there, and I will come back when I have all of this out, and it has um, cooled. So I've gotten the just of it out of the bowl, and I'm kind of molding it around now, and it's really cool. Um, I'm just kind of molding it and working it in my hands, and they say that you can mold it into a shape and then you can let it dry overnight and it will um, or like 24 hours and it will harden into a bio biodegradable plastic so that's pretty much it guys um, I'm just gonna mold this and I'll show you um, I'll show you guys a picture at the end of the tutorial of what I made out of this, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and keep on watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!